What's up guys? Welcome back. Today let's talk about the speakers, the speakers, how I got to what is behind me, those Lee Audio F15 drivers with custom open baffles. Let's take a little rewind first. Differences between the Verity and the Tecton 210 Perfect Set. So I had switched, remember, to the 210 Perfect Set. I wanted something that was more sensitive, something that gave me a bigger flexibility to use uh, low wattage tube gear. That's why I made the switch. But what did I think about the differences from leaving Verity Audio, an expensive speaker, to Tecton, who are under 2000 uh, US? Okay, it's difficult to compare them. So the comparison I'm going to make here is when they both sounded at their best in my room. So I'm not comparing them using the same gear. No, that's not fair because one performed better with a certain kind of gear and the other one performed better with another kind of gear. So what I'm saying is when they operated at their best in my room, what did it sound like? So the Tectons, uh, the Tectons, man, those speakers, it was a party. You uh, you put on some rock, some metal. Um, you could even put on hip hop, rap. The energy that those speakers brought into the room was just glorious. It's like being in a concert, full blown concert. And the people that I brought into my room and heard both setups had they had heard the Verities when I had the Verities performing at their at their best, and they heard the Tectons when they're performing at their best. The non audiophile uh, people. All said the same thing. They preferred the Tectons. Oh, the rock concert feel is definitely much cooler. See? <laughs> the audiophile uh, people who came in my room and compared both of them. Refinement in the speakers is truly a much preferred sound. The audiophile people were impressed at what the Tectons were capable of doing in regards to the detail in the mid-range, the speed in the mid-range, the coherence that you had between all the mid-range and the highs. It just flowed very smoothly, most likely due to that uh, tweeter array. But where they kind of had a little bone to pick with the Tectons is how the Tectons presented the soundstage and their capability to be able to really separate and identify where the instruments were, were positioned. They did it really well, but did they do it on the same level as the Verities did? That's where the autofiles said, no, it didn't do it on the same level as the Verities did. So I don't know why, but I like to always compare audio equipment to drinks, alcoholic drinks. It's because I'm an alcoholic, I think. Maybe. So the Tectons, if I had to compare it to a drink, sorry for those who don't drink, think of it as like a craft beer or one of those small batch whiskeys. Full of character, full of flavor, lots of fun. So a lot of the Tectons, you spend a whole night with the Tectons, like spending a whole night drinking craft beers one after another or, or just emptying out your bottle of small batch whiskey, whether it's bourbon or or rye or whatever you might have a headache the next day but man did you have a good time that's that's the tectons now when it comes to the verity the verity is a lot more about refinement um there's a, a lot more layers uh, let me just make sure i'm not missing anything in my notes and they're also extremely engaging, but they're extremely engaging not because they they recreate the concert experience. No, they're engaging because of their their intimacy, their sound staging capabilities. When you when you listen to something with the Verities, you can pinpoint all the little subtleties of the recording studio that they use. Almost, you can get a feel for their like. Um, was it a big room? Was it a small room? You can uh, hear all the little subtleties without it being fatiguing. Like you can listen to Verities all night for you know, a whole day, 18 hours straight, no problem. The layers it creates, like uh, nuances in, in, in the flavors, like you pick up the subtleties between 
the two different guitars that are playing simultaneously in a, in a, in a presentation. It really is just a nice layered, detailed and nuanced sound. That's what I just said. Get a feel for even the conductor's footsteps as he walks as as he walks on and off his podium, as the orchestra is is is, is playing. Yeah, the Verities is a lot more on the refinement side of things, whereas Tectons was more on the concert shock value um, effects. If I had to choose in the future which one of the two I would get, I know like it's like everybody wants a, wants an easy shortcut answer to know what they should get for their system. Um, let's put it bluntly, guys, if you're in the audiophile world, you're in it to explore. Um, if you just want the best of the best and think you have the best of the best, then all right, feel free, go to a store and buy the most expensive combo you can afford. It'll sound awesome. But to know which ones are better, there's almost no such thing in audio anymore, guys. There's no such thing as what's better or what's not. They all have a use. They all perform a certain way based on the gear matching. Synergy is, is a real thing. Um, the type of music you listen to, there's there's no way to get one thing that's that's best over everything else. So the answer between Tecton or the, the Verity, guys, if you can afford it, and depending on what you have already as, as a stack, what kind of amplification you have, preamp, and so on and so forth, um, and what kind of experience you're looking for, because there's so many combinations, there's so many possibilities. But guys, they're not in the same price bracket. They're just not. So you can't, can't compare them. You really can't. You can't compare them at all. Um, they're both good. They're just both good. Of course, I was shopping for tube gear. I wanted to try single-ended triodes, pure class A. I wanted to try little flea watt amplifiers. I wanted to dive into the DIY amplifiers as well. I have some buddies that have been building um, some some little DIY uh, low wattage tube amps. I just, I wanted to try those things because to me, there's a charm about the sound that comes out of a low wattage amp, a low wattage tube amp. There's such a charm, there's such a, an, an effect on, on the notes that you hear that come out of those things. Yeah, you can't, you can't have concert level performances with those things. No, you can't. It's, it's mostly of an intimate experience when you have those amplifiers. But I want to see how far I can push that experience. And to be fair, I'm not sure I'm in that experience right now. I guess I am, but I'm at the upper echelon of that wattage. Because the, the um, gear I'm using right now is around 14, 15 watts per channel. So it's still very low. But it's not like a flea, a flea amp that has like 1 to 5, amp, uh, five watts. All right. I landed on Deckware's page. And on Deckware, of course, I was looking for the amplifiers. They all look amazing. There's one right there. Um, talk about that one another day. But then I saw the speakers tab. I said, all right, let's see what Mr. Deckware recommends with his amps. So I go through the list of speakers. And I come across these very unconventional looking open baffle speakers with this massive driver in the middle with a big round baffle and immediately it picked my curiosity. Of course, when I saw the price and it was like, oh, it's around five, five grand uh, for, a, for a pair of speakers, I think, or 3,900 to about seven grand, depending on, but the ones that caught my eye were about five grand. Anyways, and he's got these really thick baffles on them. I mean, I can only imagine how great those sound. I think it was Andrew Robinson uh, who recently reviewed uh, the deckware with, the, with these drivers, the F-15s with his baffles. I'd love to give them a try. Um, I know I can even order, I can order his baffles without the drivers and just pop, pop these drivers in there. I'm contemplating it. I'm not sure what the next step is going to be, what I'm going to try in my next experiment. As luck would have it, on Canuck Audio, within the week after, Canuck Audio is the equivalent of US, I don't know am I saying this, you guys know what Canuck Audio is, even if you live in the States, it's, it's the same thing. US Audio Mart, Canuck Audio Mart, ah. So I'm on the Audio Mart, and this pair comes up for sale and they're local. They're right here. Called them up, went to get them. Also made a new friend in the process. 
Hey, Stan, in case you're watching. Um, yeah, uh, picked him up. Super cheap. Man, compared to buying Verities, super cheap. I, I spent less than $1,000 on these. Um, get home, set them up. Now, comparing these to the Tectons, so quickly, remember I said the Tectons performance was not their sound staging and imaging qualities. These are, considering even though they're full range drivers, the, the open baffle effect, oh my goodness, combine that with tubes, the sound stage just becomes incredibly satisfying. Width, depth, height. Even though I say height, but items with these uh, th items in this soundstage with these speakers appear more in front of me. There's less things that are up high. I, I will feel like um, accents and details that are up that that show up over top here and over top there. And interesting, I've had some people that come down and listen, where some people were telling me that they were feeling even things that would come up from the top here, which I personally don't get that much. Um, and uh, one of my uh, reference buddies, like someone that I, I that I exchange more often with. Uh, also for him too, he, he, he keeps telling me that, that the focus is very much, uh, very much eye level in front of us. Um, that's the best part about these things is the air in the sound stage is just huge. And the richness of tone, now that I got these dialed in, because the one thing to consider with these speakers, I think the end result that you can achieve is superior to the pair of speakers I had before, but not for the same effort. Tectons, eight, eight pieces of gear out of 10 that I put the Tectons on sounded great. Great, great. These, no, not so much. These need a specific, specific configuration or synergy, which I'll get into in, in uh, the next video about them where um, I explain, I'll explain to you guys what was missing off the bat with these speakers when I with with the stacks that I had and what I had to do to correct those issues so anyways so for today it gives you an idea of why is why it is I switched so now let's go have a look at these um, up close and see how they're how they're made and what they look like and how I got these hooked up so these are the Lee audio f15 drivers on these custom DIY baffles with a makeshift garbage stand this metal thing here that's why you see a hockey puck there because I have a hockey puck um, under pressure both here and on the back here to eliminate vibrations that could come to and from this um, little metal stand that is sitting on a uh, low cost absorber from pile which is not bad actually you know for the price sure you can get iso acoustics and other things that are far more um, far more performing when it comes to limiting vibrations. Anyway, um, yeah, so this baffle is about, uh, it's an inch thick, um, but it's like solid, solid hardwood. Like if you look carefully here, it looks like it's a type of hardwood that was used for flooring. Uh, so it's extremely dense, very hard, very rigid, and it's heavy, uh, quite heavy for its thickness. So yeah, so you got these guys, so they're 15 inches, they're full range. I think they go from like, from they start at 40 hertz, I think, going up. And uh, they're 97 dB, 8 ohm. And yeah, they got this, you know, this thing in them. Interesting. Anyway, so, um, like I've mentioned already, I mean, the sound staging in these, in these things is absolutely incredible. Um, where I guess it lacks, it lacks at the two at the two ends of the spectrum. So it lacks a little bit at the top end. So it doesn't have that sparkle like a like a like a typical tweeter would have. But I'm okay with that because I'm not I'm not someone about too much sparkle. Although I am dabbing with the idea of adding a super tweeter onto this and see if I want to go down that journey. I know it's not going to be an easy setup. It's going to be a bit of a pain in the butt to get it dialed in. But I think I'm going to try it anyways. So that's the high end of the spectrum. The low end of the spectrum obviously is in the base, so the low end. Um, it's actually better than I expected because I I had heard some open baffle speakers that shows, and I found that if you put music that was reliant on on the low end, on, on the bass to be engaging, it didn't work. It just didn't work at all. But I mean, if you played things like 
you know, like classical with flute and violins. It sounded really, really good. But as soon as you would put a cello in there, forget it, you'd, you'd, you'd lose me. But these actually were a lot better, but I still had to add subwoofers. And the only subwoofers, after having lived with, um, with a pair of rails for a while, the only subwoofers I'll tolerate to me, because I find they're the, they're the only ones I can set up that give me a result that I enjoy, is uh, speakers that have a high level in. Hence, they tap in directly into an amplifier's speaker terminals. So to me, I find there's something about that. I don't know if it, it, it helps. It helps the subwoofer keep and maintain the sonic signature that the amp is delivering to your mains. So I find the integration happens a lot better and a lot easier. And there they are. There they are. So they're almost as refined as, as the Verities. They provide as much energy, almost as much energy as the Tectons, except for the low end. But they're marrying it all together in a much bigger, clearer, deeper, more three-dimensional soundstage. I'm almost there. But keep in mind, it took a lot of work, though. It was far easier to set up the Verities than to set up the Tectons than it was to get these to sound the way they sound. But now that they are where they're at, I'm not going back. So what's next? I might just go get the F-18 drivers. So just like these, but bigger. Oh, more speakers? Are these for a second system? Whoa, 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 whoa. Shh, 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 shh. Ooh, oh, that was close. <laughs> My wife almost heard that. <laughs> second system. <laughs> Girls around me, tucking my my gut. <laughs>